short film, I'll show you how to use a tool called Cisco Jabber. Jabber is a tool which can be used at home to talk to medical professionals when you are offered a video consultation. For example, your GP may use a video consultation for a routine appointment so that you don't have to travel great distances into the surgery for a short appointment. It allows your doctor to confidentially contact you to talk about your health concern, so you shouldn't be nervous about using it. You will need to create an account and download Jabber to be able to use it, and I'm going to show you how. To install Cisco Jabber, firstly open your browser, for example Firefox, Safari, Chrome or Explorer, and type in www ciscojabbervideo.com To install Cisco Jabber, choose Get Jabber Video. Following the simple online instructions, you'll need to register an email address along with a password and a nickname. Remember, you will need to share this nickname with other people, so it's best to choose something you'll remember easily and be happy to share. You need to complete all the areas with a red asterisk as these are compulsory. Once you have completed these steps, you will receive an email from Cisco Jabber. This should take no longer than five minutes and will come from feedback at ciscojabbervideo.com. The email will include a link which you need to click to download the software. After the software has downloaded to your computer, you will be able to receive video calls from those you share your details with, including clinicians, pharmacists, social care providers, and many more. If you have made arrangements for a video consultation, there are a few things you need to make sure you have done so that you are ready to receive a call. To open Jabber, you need to click on the icon on your desktop the Cisco Jabber video screen will open and look like this. You'll be required to enter your username and your password. These are the details you used when you set up your account. You need to be sure that your camera, microphone and speakers you intend to use have been set up and are working. In order to receive calls, you need to ensure you have the correct bandwidth set up. Bandwidth is simply the size or amount of information your internet can send and receive. Click on the small spanner or screwdriver icon at the top right of your dial-in window and then by selecting the required settings you can view this. Choose bandwidth and it is recommended that you set your incoming bandwidth to about 512 kilobytes and your outgoing bandwidth to about 384 kilobytes. You will now be able to receive video calls as well as make or receive calls from other Jabber.com users. When using Jabber for medical appointments, you won't be able to make video calls into the NHS. They will call you at the appointment times. So make sure you have shared your Jabber details with them ahead of the appointment date. When you're called for your appointment, you'll see the caller's name appear on the screen and you're given the opportunity to answer or reject it. If you click on answer, a large window will appear with the remote caller in vision. Buttons at the lower edge of the screen allow you to mute your microphone, adjust your volume, etc. These buttons disappear once you've been in your call for a few seconds. However, hovering your mouse over the call window reveals them again. You're now on a secure call and can talk to your doctor just like you would if you were in the same room. Once your appointment is finished, clicking end will hang up your call. And you can 
log out and shut down the Jabber application. And there you are, Cisco Jabber gives you a secure environment to discuss your health and well-being with a professional whilst you are in your own home or private space and it is as simple as that to set up and use.